Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. I finally got the intro right. We're about to access the throne and start overseeing Evermore's development. I'm excited about this game mechanic. It seems like I'm seven hours into the game and they're still introducing new things. Look at that. Managing your kingdom. Evan can sit down on his throne in, Ever in Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper and in turn make his adventure easier. By building facilities, assigning citizens to run them, and having them carry out research into new technologies and techniques, he can open up a whole world of possibilities. Facilities include shops where unique items can be bought. That's awesome! Outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others. Get building and make ever more amazing. Oh, that's cool. King's Guilders. King's Guilders are the currency of kingdom management, and are entirely separate from the Guilders Evan and his friends can earn elsewhere. They are necessary for every step of kingdom building, from creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities to carrying out research at said facilities. Why not claim your first clutch of King's Guilders? Go to your kingdom's coffers and grab them. Huh. The tireless efforts of your citizens have earned you a total of 2,500 King's Guilders. Your kingdom is... Your kingdom? Kingdom? Your kingdom is growing every day. Long may it continue. Okay. Okay. They'll gradually accumulate as your citizens go about their business, and you can collect them from your kingdom's coffers as as and when you need them. You'll be surprised how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to grow, so check back regularly to see how things are going. You may also be able to earn extra king's guilders by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. Interesting. You can see how you can also see how many king's guilders you've collected in the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore to check every single time okay that's good building and developing facilities all right it's time to take your, your hard-earned king's guilders and spend them on building a new facility you can select and build the facilities your kingdom will need by selecting manage your kingdom from the menu this is really cool like it's a whole in this game there's like three or four different games within the game it's nuts uh building them will of course cost king's guilders each of the each each and every facility can have a hugely beneficial effect from opening up new avenues of research to making new items available, be sure to consider each one carefully. And don't forget, you can also improve the efforts, the effects, not efforts, the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them. One particularly helpful facility to upgrade is your castle. And do, as doing so will benefit the entire kingdom, broadening its border, borders so that even more facilities can be built. Okay. <clears throat> that sounds like the first thing we should do. But leveling up your castle will cost quite a few. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Try upping your influence with a few basic facil facilities first to improve your coffer filling capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is select Manage Your Kingdom and build up the facil facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. Manage Your Kingdoms. No King's Guilders claim. Oh, never mind, I wasn't highlighting it. Alright, so. Ooh. Can you build anything behind? No. Let's start over here. Unused can build Higglery. Build Higglery, a new facility for carrying out research into Higgledies. 350 King's Guilder. K King's Guilders, yes. Okay. We have a Higglery. My influence just went way up. What can I build here? Evermore Weapon Workshop. 350 King's Guilders. Done! Fantastic! Okay. That's great. What can I build over here? Can build Evermore Outfitters. Research Armor. 350 King's Let's do it! Ooh, that looks really cool, actually. Evermore Outfitters completed. Wow, my influence is going way up. I could build one here. Evermore Spellworks. I like that. Researching spells, I'm assuming. Fancy. And I think that's it. Uh-huh. Kingdom Development Research. Once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set them to work on some research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. This can have all kinds of beneficial effects from making new items available to helping Evan and his friends. In order to research a given topic, you'll need personnel with enough IQ and the King's Guilders to fund their work. Some topics may also have extra requirements. Of course, research takes time. 
When research into a given topic reaches 100%, it will be completed. But the more complex the topic, the longer this will take. The higher the IQ of the personnel involved, the shorter the required time will become. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> Let's just remember that. Excuse me. And if you really want to hurry things up, you can always spend a few... Oh, so you can expedite the process, huh? Assigning personnel to facilities. In order to carry out research, you'll need the, the right personnel. Wow, this is getting deep. Every citizen is different and, you, and will be suited to different work. You can see which kind of work suits someone best by looking at their ratings under four separate categories. Their suitability for a given type of task is known as IQ. For example, you'll need someone with a high IQ where military matters are concerned to carry out weapons research. Each citizen will also have their own special skills as an individual. These can have various beneficial effects and greatly influence where you might choose to assign them. Try assigning some personnel to the weapon workshop and begin research into basic melee, <clears throat> excuse me again, weapon development. Okay. Weapon workshop. Personnel. Assigned citizen. Oh yeah, this is he's definitely the best one for the job. I'm assigning him. Oh, I could assign oh. I can assign all three of them. Huh. Okay, good. Research. Level one. Development influence increase plus four. four 150 king, King's Guilders. Okay. Done. <clears throat> Again, excuse me. My throat is really bothering me today. Research has begun into level one melee weapon development at the Evermore Weapon Workshop. Awesome. Can I assign... Oh, I can't do anything else right now. There's an exclamation point here. Oh, complete research. Oh, it's complete already? Look at that influence fly. Good. It looks like your research is complete, but running a kingdom isn't just about research. Oh my gosh. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your kingdom's stores, which are accessible from the kingdom menu. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can only hold so much, so you'll need to empty them regularly in order for your item producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Kingdom management is a complex business. No kidding! We've covered the basics here, but don't be afraid to go over them again. Just go to help in the library section of the main menu. Wow. 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 So there's ministries in charge of weapons and armor, and one in charge of magic, and even one for Higgledies. There are. Speaking of which, we don't have anybody skilled in Higgledy management to head up that team right now. Short of sprite savvy. Sort of short, short of sprite savvy, are we? We are. And without it, we won't be making any development to that area anytime soon. What about that old lady we saw? What we need to do is recruit somebody. We just have to think of the right person. Uh, that old lady we saw. Yeah, Auntie Martha. Uh, who's she when? Who, who's she when she's at home? What? <laughs> a friend we made on the way to Cloud Coil Canyon. I probably read that wrong. I doubt anybody knows more about those little guys than she does. Yeah, no kidding. Perfect. And let's go and speak to her right away to Martha's Cottage. Hopefully, she made us some delicious pie. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me look at this again before we go. Okay, manager kingdom. Coffers, 30. Hey. Let's collect. Just made 30, right? Yeah. Manager kingdom. Personnel. Assigned citizen. Hmm. Now, we're not going to do anything for that. What about here? This is uh, spell works. Is there anybody who's good with spells? She's a 60. That's not bad. Let's put her in, he in here. Maybe do a little bit of research here. Level one spell development, level two spell development. Ooh, level two is 1,350 King's Guilders, okay. Oh, what does it say? Your personnel doesn't have enough IQ to research this topic. Oh, okay. Okay, but wait a minute. Maybe I want to unassign her. Oh, I don't think you can. Remove, there we go. Let's leave her for something else. Uh, what about my castle here? Can I upgrade that? Expand coffers, level up kingdom. Influence increase has to be 150,000 at 65,000. Okay. Expand coffers. I have to have 3,000 King's Guilders. Got it. The Higgledies, there's nobody, nobody, right? He's an 80. 
Why wouldn't I put him? I'm going to put him. And now I'm going to try to research. Oh, what? Your personnel don't have enough IQ to research this topic. What is the IQ required? A hundred. A hundred total? I wonder if it's a hundred total. So if I went like this, this is just all for testing purposes. If I did that, and then I went research. No. Wait, research conditions influence or increase by 150 king skill. There's research in the top that will take 20 minutes. Staff member knows head for higgles. Okay, so let's um let's uh remove him, assign him down here, and then when we get the old lady, we'll put her up here. I think. I think that'll be good. Let's get out of here now. We just made 40 more king's guilders. Uh, return to the throne. Return to town. Return to the throne room. Got it. Wow, there's this, there's a lot to this game. Not complaining about it, of course. Here, let's just, just restore the HP. I don't think we, we need to save the progress right now. I guess we could have returned to the town. Oh, look at this! My little town! Looks great! Okay, we gotta go back to the lady. We're gonna go fast travel over there. And I'm pretty sure this automatically saves. It does. Oh! There was something right behind Lisa Simpson over there. Somebody in the in the comments mentioned how um, my kingmaker, <laughs> they can't get over how they look like Lisa Simpson. It's totally true. How did I not see that before? That is ridiculous. Okay, anybody out here to fight? Anybody want to fight me? No? Okay, cool. Let's go in here. Gotta recruit Martha. Look at all these higgledies. Hello there. Well, if it isn't my favorite young men, and what can I do for you today, my handsomes? Hello. <laughs> she called us handsome. Um, we have a favor to ask. We've started our new kingdom, you see, and we were wondering if you might like to come and live there. We need someone who knows about higgledies. Well, no. What's that now? You want old Auntie Martha to move to this new country of yours? Huh. Is it a country, really? Oh, I, uh, well, not if you don't want to, of course. Oh, Evan, my love. Oh, she's calling us, but she only ever met us once. Of course I want to. I'd be delighted to come and lend a hand if you'll have me. You would? Wonderful. There's just one little problem, though. Someone's stolen a rub... What? Oh, someone's stolen my rub-a-dub scrubber. What? Your rub-a-dub what? Now, dear. Weren't you listening, dearie? My rub-a-dub scrubber, I said. It's a scourer. But not just any old scourer, it's very special indeed. It'll get even the filthiest old pot sparkling clean with just a swish and a swash. And my higgle higgledy darlings flat out refuse to be born into anything <clears throat> but the cleanest of cauldrons. So you see, I can't be doing without without it. Uh, without find a pot scrubber? This is our mission right now? Gosh, I never knew higgledies were born from cauldrons. But who do you think could have stolen it, Auntie Martha? A wicked little whamster, that's who. The problem is, I'm in no position to go chasing after those grubby vermin at my age. All right. All right. <laughs> well then, we'll get it back for you. He's uh, really excited about getting this pot scrubber. You will? Oh, you, aren't you just a little dear? I expect the little beggar ran off to the grotty grotto with it. There's an awful lot of his sort over that way. Ta -ta for Do now. that for me and I'll gladly move to your kingdom. I'm sure it's lovely. All right, quest accepted. Oh, we got a little side quest. This is, is this our first side quest? Sure. It's not really a side quest, though, because we can't continue the main quest until we get her. Right? Side quests are small tasks that can be carried out to help solve the various worries of and day-to-day -day troubles of the people that you meet around the world. Not only will you be able to not only will you be rewarded for completing them, they'll also sometimes allow you to recruit new citizens to your kingdom. Cool. Let's get out of here. Let's go after that whamster. Where is it at? Oh, it's right there. The Grotty Grotto. Which means we've got to go... This way? You can't zoom, can you? Oh, that's about as much as you can zoom. You can zoom out. You can't zoom in. This is a... Oh, this is a big world. And I've only just begun. It's only just begun. What movie is that from? Whamster Banger. These guys over here are so low level now, though. 
It's gonna be real easy to beat them. Watch this. Watch Careful, this. everyone. <laughs> yep. They're all dead. That's what I did. I did that. A burning huntsman's bow. Awesome. Okay, I saw something over here. What is that? Oh, is that a skirmish? Level three goo. That why are they so easy over here? Let me go grab this thing real quick. Free items, why not? A coral hue bloom. That sounds awesome. I'll spike this goo. Here goes nothing. And I'll do this again. Done. Oh, this, this goo survived. Okay, okay. Now there's one more goo here, and then let me just go to the skirmish. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for to join the fray and take on Wallop the Whamsters? Recommended level for the skirmish is level four. I hope so. I didn't really save, did I? That <laughs> that could be a problem. Okay, bolstering your forces. Evermore has grown big enough that a new option is available on the briefing section screen for skirmish battles. Bolster forces. With it, you could spend King's Guilders in order to give your forces various advantages such as more might and more HP. That will make even tough battles a breeze. You can also opt to retry skirmishes in hard mode, which will see you facing much more challenging enemies, but for correspondingly greater reward rewards. Okay. Bolster forces. Ooh. Makes reinforcements arrive more quickly when you call for them. HP boost. I like the HP boost. How much King's Guilders do I have? Is that what I have down there? 2,000? Slow might gauge. Causes your might gauge to deplete more slowly, allowing you to run further and fight harder. Long shock tactics, hard mode. Gives the enemy more military might, making your mission that much more difficult. Why would you want that? Okay, we'll do... Um oh, I don't have enough King's Guilders. Okay, we're, I guess we're done here. Did I bolster the forces? Oh, I have uh, 980 total. There we go. All right, so we're good. Inspect forces. Ooh. At level four slugger. That guy's going to be a problem. Muster forces. That's all I have. Mobilize forces. Begin the battle. Let's do it. Wham, bang, wallop. Them fighting words. Prepare to squeak your last. I'm going to fill you full of holes. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Uh -oh. Looks like the Whamster Byers got a bee in his we bonnet, blah, blah, blah. Win this. Two we arms. Two. Okay, turn this around. No, turn this around right here. We're just going to go a little bit of... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get him, boys! There's plenty more where that Neutralize. Like that, you worms. Okay. All right. Can I get these guys over here? There we go. They missed. I just wanted the archers to get the first shots in. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the special tactics. There's just those. Okay, I don't think we need those just yet. Let's get these guys in here. They're not even hitting us. Okay. Go. Okay, we're breaking down walls for some reason. Let's get those guys. Get them, get them, get them. Okay, we're going to do a special uh, thing. We're going to go with... I oh, can't use too much of our... There we go. Go, 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 guys! Okay, there's more of them. Let's get the archers taking down that wall. Yeah, that's fine. My military might is only 1,800. Here, let's just continue to take down that wall. They're hiding behind walls. They're scared of us. 
Reverse! Done. Okay, let's get the archers in front again. I don't like the fact that they go for the walls automatically. Okay, we're going to move forward. Now turn it around. Somebody, one of us died. Again, continue the force. Oh, we got something. What's that? Small mil military might boost. Oh, there's another one. Okay, these are the, these are the tough guys, I think. What the heck are you guys doing? Oh, they're taking down that uh, that wall there. Is there anything else around? I don't think so. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the archers in front here. Like this. A little bit Oh, there's a guy right next to us now. All of you swarm them. We'll go with... Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay, we have to wait a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to wait a little bit. Holy crap. Go, 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 go. There's plenty more where that came from. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh, we barely survived that. One archer and one fighter. <laughs> Indeed it does, but we won't be hearing a squeak out of that lot again for a while. That's the end of that. Oh, man. That was um closer than I was expecting. I didn't expect them to bring on reinforcements there at the end. And I think there's a way for me to call them too, but I don't remember how. So we might have screwed that one up royally. Anyway, uh, we've got a verdant crystal, a piece of heavy cloth. Does that mean we got the uh, the thing back? No, we got to go to the Grotty Grotto. That's right. Let's fight these guys a little bit. Get a few levels. What the heck is that in the water? That's going to be something we have to deal with when we have a ship, I am sure. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Some Soraway. Soraway is always a welcome, a welcome gift. And I think I've got to go in here. The Grotty Grotto. Ooh. All right, cool. I've obtained a swirly apple, too. Now, make sure we're not missing anything here. The Whamster Pranger, level 20, huh? Oh. Look, those must be the Whamsters who stole from Auntie Martha. Let's return that scrubber to its rightful owner. I can't believe we're going, this is a mission to return a pot scrubber. Come on! Okay. Let's... Oh. Important item acquired. You obtained... That's it? I thought we had to go deeper into this cave. Let's take it back to her. Full mark, Seven. Well done. Uh oh Hang on, Mun. How do you know his name? That's the kid from the dream. I guarantee it. We've never met before, have we? You fight well. You are just what I'm looking for. Oh, maybe not. You must listen to what I have to say. I have an important mission for you. Flippin' egg, what we what have we got ourselves into now? Says Lisa Simpson. Side quest updated. Auntie Martha Scrubber. Um You just hold on right there. Just give me a second. Just gonna collect some things here. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Give me one second. Just one second. I'm sure you're a, a person of great interest. But I must go and collect some things here. First. Uh-huh. Like a damp wizard's wand. What the heck would I want with a damp wizard's wand? And I must, I would like to uh, perhaps save the game now. Yep, let's save the game. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Um, what else is in here? Oh, there's some more stuff. I'll be right over there, lady. Mysterious woman who uh, apparently is looking for something just like me. This door looks interesting. Um, but let's keep going here. 
Let's jump up this thing unnecessarily. A clear crystal. I'm sure these crystals will all come in handy in the future. I don't know if there's recipes or not, but I feel like the stuff that I'm picking up, there should be recipes for it. Anyway, should we go into that door first? Let's talk to her first. Let's see what she says. Maybe the, the what she wants us to do is, is to go into the door. Into the door. So, who knows, really. We can't walk past her, can we? No, we can't. Um. So, is there something I can help you with? You are perfectly happy to blindly follow the requests of strangers, I see. This can be a dangerous habit. What? But you said you had a special mission for... Hey! Do not interrupt me or I shall be forced to dock your mark. Dock your marks? Is she a teacher of some sort? Now listen, this is for you. Take it. You obtained a dreamer's key. I bet that opens that door behind us. Mm -hmm. Is this... Yeah. A key? It is indeed. I assume you are aware of the presence in this world of the mysterious portals known as dreamer's doors. I am not aware. Um, I have long wished to investigate what lies beyond them. But I've been unable to bypass the magics that steal, seal them shut. Magics? But now, at last, I have made a breakthrough. I have managed to create a key that will allow them to be opened. I called the dreamer's key! Gosh! Gosh, it sounds very exciting. <laughs> it certainly is. It was an achievement for which I rewarded myself full marks. What? <laughs> which brings us to my reasons for coming here. There is a dreamer's door in this very cave. I just saw it. Unfortunately, having come this far, I find myself in a rather problematic situation. <sighs> oh, yeah? Ye here, here we go, man. <sighs> Not sure why he's Jamaican all of a sudden. I am, as I am sure you can appreciate, a gifted intellectual. Oh, absolutely. I am per peerless in matters of the mind. But when it comes to the field of battle, I, well, I have little to contribute. As such, I fear what lies beyond the door may be beyond my ability to deal with. But behold, fate has provided an answer. A capable assistant has been sent to me. Oh, that's good. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> yeah. I mean you, of course. What? But I don't. Hey. No arguments, please. I am sh I'm sorry to say that I will be deducting 10 marks for any more such petulant outbursts. What is with the marking Flippin thing? Flippin' heck, man! Flippin' heck, man! She's doing my head in with this marking malarkey! Before I go on, I must introduce myself. I am Professor... Millennia? Millennia. You can pronounce... You, or you can call me... <laughs> you can pronounce it Professor. You can call me Professor. Really? Professor? Is it? There is a big... There's a, there's big head, I mean, right you are, Professor. Uh, you won't be needing to dock any more points from us. Yeah. I'm happy to hear it. Now, behind each dreamer's door, you will find an object known as a dream fragment. There are nine of these in total. More game mechanics? Nine? <laughs> Collect them all, and there may well be some bonus marks in it for you. I guess this is not really a game mechanic. It's more of like a... Uh, side mission sort of thing or main mission I guess now if you'll excuse me I must return to gold paw come and find me there once you have gathered all nine fragments okay so once we get those nine do not feel that there is any need to hurry I have all the time in the world and allow me to wish you the very best of luck I expect great things from you is this a side quest flip flip man what's this what's this we've been roped into now bonus marks indeed I never asked for any flippin' marks in the first flippin' place. <laughs> hee hee, yes. I did wonder what all that was about, but I'm rather intrigued by these dreamers' doors. She said there was one in this cave, didn't she? Indeed she did, my lad. But what about Auntie Martha's scrubber? Well, suppose it can't hurt to take a little detour if you fancy. Lead on, your majesty. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. Whoa. Quest accepted. Yes. Dreamer's door. Was this way. I believe. Yeah, there it is. Gather nine dream fragments. This is really weird. <laughs> what is happening with the with with this dreamer door? This door gives off an eerie aura. Open the door with the dreamer's key. You won't be able to save while you're in the dreamer's maze. Uh, yes, then. Because we save this, and it's automatically saving before we enter anyway. Ooh. Danger level one. Strange uncharted spaces stretch out beyond the portals known as dreamers' doors. What lies at their end and what enemies and lands await within, no one knows. When Evan and his friends enter a dreamer's maze, a strain is placed on the very fabric of space and time, <laughs> Jesus, causing the danger level of that dimension to gradually increase. Each time the danger gauge fills, the danger level will increase by one. 
Simply being present is enough to fill it, but certain other incidents will also cause it to increase, and when the danger level increases, so too will the level and ferocity of the monsters you encounter. As such, you must keep a close eye on it at all times. What? This is another game mechanic. Dre defeating monsters in a dreamer's maze will earn you strange pink spheres known as key orbs. <laughs> Offer up enough of these to an idol when you come across one, and you can use the danger level or you can cause the danger level to decrease. But each time you do so, the idol's hunger for orbs will grow. You may also meet the occasional person in a dreamer's maze, and they might have a gift of orbs for you, or be able to lower the danger level for a price. The last floor of every dreamer's maze is full of monsters whose ferocity is beyond imagining, but defeating them is the only way to stabilize these precarious dimensions. Several dreamer's doors are known to exist around the world. Do you have what it takes to overcome what lies beyond them all? Oh, look, it's increasing right now. Okay. What are we looking for here? A shard of some sort? Well, take care of that guy. We don't have a key for this. Oh, yeah, the victory animation is going to get annoying in here. Strange force seals it shut. Your sense, you sense that offering it 15 orbs will unlock it. We don't even have 15 orbs. We have one orb. Huh. Meanwhile, the danger level is increasing. This is really weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll go this way. The only other option... Is there a map? There's no map, even! It's supposed to be a maze, maybe? Aha! We have two orbs. Uh... What? There's nothing else. Is there a way? What about this way? Aha! Behind us. Well, it's at level one right now. Watch your back. Oh goodness! Don't fall in there. There's an orb down there. We have to fall in there. Okay, easy, easy, easy. We have six of them now. There's another one. Are we going up down there? Like, what's up here still? Victory, apparently. Okay, there's the thing to lower the danger. Go up this way. There's nothing up this way. Let's see what it asks for. Five orbs, the danger level will decrease. No. Cancel. We don't need it to decrease right now. It's at one already. A strawberry chew. What is that? Hold on. Obtained a queasy upstanding spear. Cool. What is this? That is really cool looking. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there is more stuff up here. And there's more... No, that is closed off. Alright, can we jump down here? No, we can't. So it's at one. Slowly increasing to two. Should we... We have 11 orbs. I think it was 15 orbs to open up that chest! Wow! Well, we're down here now. And there's nothing down here. Uh Whoa, what the heck is happening here? Okay. Danger level 2. It says the bottom floor of every level is like filled with terrible monsters. I don't see any. There she is again. Uh, and we killed everything already. I'm really confused. What was this again? It was 15? 15 orbs. 
people have 15? I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Um. Can you go back through the door? What happens when you push that? Move on to the next floor. Oh! I didn't know you had to go back through the door to go to the next floor. Okay, so now we should probably lower the thing when we have a chance. We're at danger level two here. Alright, so things are starting to make a little bit more sense. Those crystals look really cool. Um, this is kind of an empty place. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there's some enemies down there. Okay, right there we go. Come on! <laughs> Not a problem, not a problem. We're still wrecking face. Even at danger level two. Oh, this guy's tough though. Okay, we have 13 of these now. There's another one there. Oh, there's a couple here. We can go and open that chest now. Watch your back. They are getting tougher to beat, that's for sure. What are, what are all these? Oh, nice. Okay. There's still a guy here? There is. Okay, we got that. That victory animation. There are no, like... There's no map or anything. There's a chest here. Take that. You obtained a close range ring. Got it. Let's go. Oh, there's nothing over this way. Okay. <laughs> this is worrying me, like. Uh right. We're gonna go this way. Because there's some pots here. Those are health, I think. The green ones. We got 20 of these orbs now. Okay, this is new. Oh. 20 orbs. Uh, yes. What? That's all we got? An angel's tear for 20 orbs? There's the door. Okay. There's more pots here. Hopefully a bunch of these orbs. Okay, good. We're getting some, we're getting some orbs. This is like a dungeon, right? It's like, sort of like the dunge a, a dungeon mechanic, I guess. We've got 11 more orbs already. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I like this. Oh, there's a dude here. <laughs> Golly gosh, and blow me down if I don't feel marvelous today. Just marvelous. So marvelous, in fact, that I'm going to give you a little present. It's a little something I've been saying for a rainy day. Well, take it. Yeah. Sure. Of course you will, wouldn't you? Well, you? Who wouldn't? Here you go, friend, enjoy. Piece of shaggy fur. Cool, I've always wanted shaggy fur. What is over here? Nothing at all. So I guess we're going on to the next floor. You can sense something truly terrifying beyond the door. Move to the next floor or escape from the dreamer's maze. The choice is yours. Continue to the next floor. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What level are we at now? Level three. Oh boy. I wonder if we're gonna find more of those stone statues to lower the level, because I will definitely pay for one now. Oh boy. Okay. No, come here, open this up first. Okay, another close range ring. Um, this is worrying me. Oh, the level, the danger level stopped, so we got to the boss. I guess this is the boss fight. There's more of these orbs. I wonder if I'm able to go back to the first floor and open up that chest that wanted 15 orbs. You know? 
It seems like I should be able to. What's behind it? Oh, there's another door! Huh, I'm really confused right now. Okay, so what if I what if I go here? What does it say? Oh, you gotta defeat the guardian of this. Okay. Well crap. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Leave this to me! <laughs> He's not taking any damage. That was too far away! 140. Okay, go over here. Over here. Need a little help here. He's not taking any damage at all. This is not gonna go well, guys. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's do this. Don't let me down! Easy. Okay, easy. Oh my gosh, this battle is going to be long. Make yourselves useful. Okay. Oh man. Got me a little bit, I think. Hit him with that cannon. Okay. Oh. Soar away. Another one. One for you. One for you. Uh, what else? Restore the tree, revives ally, cures, poison effect, slightly improves physical defense. Let's go ahead and have that. Slightly boosts resistance to confusion. Strengthens ranged attacks. Let's go ahead and give her that. Strengthens melee attacks. Let's give him that. All right, let's go. Holy crap, this is bad. Like, I can't get up. Oh, that's so stupid. I really hate that, honestly. There's no way to defend against that. This is impossible. Uh-oh. Out of the way. Where are my where are my higgledies? Make yourselves useful. It's insane. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. I'm gonna three leaf soar away. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, this is impossible. Make yourselves useful. Okay, watch out. Eat this. Oh, that hurt. No, get over here. Need a little help. I'm not even like halfway. Out of the way. Okay, there's some, these guys right here, these guys heal, I believe. Don't let me down. Okay. Okay. Nice. Slam him. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, that's bad. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Need a little help here. Goodness gracious. Oh, 186. Okay, they healed me up a little bit. Need a little help here. 
This guy is tough. Out of the way. Oh, that hurt. 233. I think if I keep my distance, I should be okay. And occasionally hit him with those. We're not even halfway yet. No, nope. stay away from that. That thing sucks. He looks like he's doing something terrible. Oh my goodness. What is the little X on our bodies? We're confused. Restores uh, poison nixed. Is it nixed? Hush be gone. I don't know what that means. Slightly boost resistance to confusion. Okay. There's no way we're gonna beat this thing. There is absolutely no way. Holy crap. Oh, he's right behind us. Oh, I'm stuck in the border. Away. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. Holy crap. We're stuck in a corner. That's okay. Go, 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 go. That was a good one. That was a good one. Let's get out of here. Holy crap. What is he doing? Don't do that thing again. If you do that again, I'm in some trouble. No! Stop it! Oh, he's doing it again! This is bad. We're all going to die. I don't know how... If there's any way to stop this... I think, I think we did stop it. Yes! Go, go, go! Okay. Go, go, go. Nice! Come on, come on. Take that. Nice. Where is every why is nobody helping me? Ah go go go, don't do that again. Good stuff. Keep knocking him down. Over here. Oh. No. No. Uh oh, this is bad. If he does it again, I'm screwed. Oh, he's doing the thing. Go. Take that. Ah, go! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, 148 damage! Go, 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 go! Oh, no! Tenny! What did he say, Tenny? Nope, you're not getting me. Make yourself useful. Ouch! He's shooting rockets at me. Oh, Tenny's dead. Wait! Okay, Angel's Tear. Uh... Oh my gosh. 
Slightly boost critical hit damage. That's good. Uh, stores a lot of the user's HP. There we go. Oh. Oh, come on. Let me get up at least. Go get it close. No. Not this stupid spinny thing. This is good. That's a good one. Oh, he hit me again with that stupid stuff. I hate it so much. Where he's almost dead. Get him. This is the longest boss fight ever. He's almost dead. No! Do not let this happen. Oh, we did it! Oh no, he's still alive. Oh. oh my god! Holy crap! I've obtained a red dream fragment. Are you kidding me? Did we not get anything else? What did we pick up? Please tell us we picked up some decent stuff. No. 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 Absolutely not. Nope. There's a couple close close range rings. We should have used any sort of fire um, attack there, but I don't even think oh, I didn't really go through my weapons. Plus, I sold a bunch of stuff too. I, sh I probably should start keeping different elemental. Leave Dreamer's maze. Oh. Wow. That was insane. Absolutely insane. Let's get the heck out of here.